this lesson, you're going to learn how to add an overlay section. So let's go back here and click on add new element. And we're just going to go over to overlay section. This is another cool thing, just like the light box that allows you to be able to add some real cool things there. So once you choose that overlay there, you can put your mouse over here to start editing. Or you can also you can put your mouse here, for example, and just click to edit this is where you can choose the label that you want it to say so i'm going to choose this here bell for example when you put that there you notice that it shows right there and also when you put your mouse it activates the link so you can be able to click on it we'll take a look down just a second so you can choose the icon that you want to be associated with this here so i'm going to click on this here and you can choose from a variety of different icons so I am going to choose this alarm and then you can choose the size of that so I'm going to put that size and then you can change this again to alarm clock and whatever size you want it to be at the bottom here pretty much the same thing and then go over to the design and the design you can choose to inherit the default font or you can change the font types here different font family you can choose the font weight the weight just makes it a little bit darker or lighter. So if you choose inherit, it's going to come with the default. If you want something a little darker, you can go up to 900. And when you get to 900, you notice that it's a lot darker. And let's go over here now with the size. You can choose the size of the font. So you make that large really big. So I'm going to make it that size. And you can choose the letter space and the space between the letters. So I'm going to keep that at the default or whatever size that you want it to be. If you want the letters to space out a little more, you can do that. And with a line height, go up, and it gives a lot of space in there. So I'm gonna put that like that. And with the line height, you can choose to underline the, uh, the text. You can choose to make it all uh, capital, uppercase. You can choose italics. You can choose the position for the left, the center, or the right. So it gives you a lot of options here that you can be able to choose something from. And let's scroll down here. You want to choose where it says the color. This is where you choose the color of this. So let's click on this first one here. And I'm going to put this to like that blue right there. So now that color has changed. And I want to change the background. And I can change the background to a black. So the background has changed. And you can also change the opacity here with the colors. That's one cool thing too. So with that black background, if I want to change the opacity, I can just drag it down. And you notice that it becomes dimmer and it still gives that certain look. So there are times when I use something like this, if I'm trying to go for a certain type of look, so you can put like that. And the same thing too with the first color. If you want to be able to, you know, be creative with it, you can do that as well. But I'm going to put this back at full. And let's come over to the bottom. This is the hover. What that means is that anytime that someone hovers over this, it is going to whatever color that you choose, that's what's going to show. So I'm hovering right now. That's the color that you see here. So the text color is white and the alarm color is white. So if I want to change that, I'm going to change this to, let's say, like a red. So once I hover over it now, these colors have changed to red. And I want to change the background hover color so I can change that to something like that. So when I hover right now, that color's changed. And you can pretty much just kind of play with it here based on how your website is, what color schemes that you're going for um, to do that. And then you can do the shadow as well. So let's click on the shadow. And I'm going to bring this opacity all the way up to the very top. So you can see that shadow at the bottom. And then you can choose whatever color that you want um for the shadow so you kind of play with that there you can choose to pass it once again uh kind of dim it up you know add more value or decrease the value so you've done that now uh next thing is when you put your mouse over you can actually click on it and you get this pop-up so you can be able to assign things so when someone clicks on here what do you want to happen so I'm going to just go here and you can add a new element. That is another really cool thing that I really, really love about this. So you can add a gallery, a simple gallery. You can add a slideshow, slide set. I'm just going to grab the video here like I did before. Once again, that's blank. Uh, I'm going to go over uh, to the very top here 
and put the video ID. So now it shows that video. So that when someone clicks on that icon there, they can be able to watch that video or it says video source. You can choose to Vimeo uh, or source file. That pretty much is up to you. And we've covered these here, the autoplay and the shadow. So if you want to add a little bit of shadow, just you can do that here and you can choose whatever color that you want for the shadow. So it kind of gives you that that effect to it. But this is really great. Um, you can be able to be creative. That's one of the great things that I love too about this grid box is it gives you so many options to be creative and you know kind of give things to look and feel that you're going for just by dragging and dropping.